And I also think they could put more WCW and ECW stuff in there. Yeah. Maybe they won't in the future, but uh, at the minute, I mean, for both of them companies, when they were running, had massive following, massive fan bases. And I right. Think, I think that that might encourage more people to subscribe. Uh, I agree, and you know, I think they, they have to kind of be. They have to. You can understand their from a business standpoint, they're trying to, you know, do it slowly, upload the stuff slowly, and I suppose their servers as well, they have to wait and buy more server time, or server space and that sometimes, but I like the fact that they have a policy that when they take stuff down, they, you know, they won't be taking much stuff down, you know, they have, they have a policy that they put it all back, you know, because recently they put up the 12 days of attitude at Christmas time, yeah. and they took it down then. But I think they're putting it back slowly now because they just have to re-edit some of the stuff, you know, put it back in different sections, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I like that policy that they, they don't take stuff off once they put it up. Yeah, that's good. A lot of them, a lot of them things do that. Like, like Netflix. Netflix. Uh, yeah, Netflix is awful for it sometimes. Yeah. Like, all the Batman stuff was on Netflix there, and then 1st of February, and most of it's gone now. <laughs> Unless you have other means of getting Netflix from other regions, it's kind of hard, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, as far as the network goes, I think both of us can agree that it's a great, innovative idea, and it's probably, hopefully it lasts a long, long time. I hope so, too. Mm. Uh, my favourite stuff on the WWE Network, I have to say, would be the, well, I've done shows about it on YouTube and also already, but... I think probably the Saturday night's main event and uh, stuff, because I love that era, you know, and the pay-per-views obviously are great. Yeah, I mean, before Raw came along, it was always the main event. Yeah. And for a lot of fans of, of the older generation that can go back and watch that stuff, it's mm. pretty awesome. It is, yeah, and you know, Nostalgia is something that uh, it's like adrenaline. It only lasts a certain amount of time before you start getting bored with it again. But for them, we peaks like I had a real peak of nostalgia there over Christmas and just there. But I've kind of started going back from it a bit now and not watching as much. But you know, I'll, it'll probably come back to me maybe in a month's time and I'll get a massive uh, uh, urge to watch that stuff a lot. But uh, yeah, I find myself another thing as well. By the way. Uh, I find myself um, liking the current product a lot more now because of the WWE Network. I, yeah, I can relate to that. I think that now it's, it's as good as it was years ago. There's so much talent there. Yeah, yeah. But for a while, there was a period there, for about 10 years, it was a bit dull. Aye, aye. I was losing a lot of fans, and but I think now they're they're working on bringing it back. It's yeah, good uh, that's good. Like you know, the, you do have to have down periods in wrestling to build new stars, and it's like a like a football team taking a down period to um you know get rid of some of their older talent and bring in the new guys. You know, as you know, or like any other, I suppose any walk of life really. Uh, so uh. Move on now, but more. Um, can you just name your favorite WrestleMania. Overall, probably fifteen. Fifteen. Right. Okay. But WrestleMania fourteen, WrestleMania twenty, and WrestleMania twenty-four. I also like them very much. Yeah cool stuff I think with me personally I think um, Wrestlemania 6, 7 and 8 were great you know because of that era and um, I love 9 because it was my first nostalgia wise as far as watching it live um, beyond that the more recent ones I think um, 30 was a damn good Wrestlemania in my opinion it was but and by the way, seventeen was excellent. Probably even better than the the, old, the younger ones that I mentioned. WrestleMania thirty was good, but I think 
I could have been more. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. The whole Lesnar Taker one was something else, wasn't it? Yeah. The the streak ending was just mad. It just came out of nowhere, didn't it? Uh, you know, I know we've touched on that already, but you really do have to kind of give that special attention because it really was a a, a crazy moment. I I was just annoyed that it was Brock Lesnar mm. that ended the streak. Yeah. <laughs> Married to uh, Sable, Rena Mero, who used to be a big name in wrestling as well. By the way, a bit of trivia there for you folks, if, if you didn't know that. <laughs> um, she was a, a thing back in her day. That's right, she? yeah, she was unbelievable. Um, one of the greats. You know, we're going to talk a bit now. We're going we're gonna to close this thing up soon, probably go another 10, 15 minutes, right? But... Uh, First episode, we're going to be doing more episodes hopefully in the next few months. Um, but uh, maybe we get them other guys that I advertise that we're going to be on the show, but hopefully get them in eventually as well to do some stuff. But uh, good to have Kyle on the show here today, folks. Beyond the Ropes Wrestling Podcast for Mixed Cloud and possibly YouTube. We'll see what happens. Um, thank you for joining us, by the way, if you're listening to this. Um, right, we're going to talk now about WWE 2K. The 2K games, you're a fan of them, Kyle. I am. Uh, what's your opinions on the games lately? I think they're they're really good, and they keep getting better. Yeah. The gameplay keeps getting better. The graphics, the motions, everything, really. Mm. And I think 2K13 and 2K14 were brilliant, and 2K13, you got to relive the Attitude Era. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, great stuff. And then, of course, in 2K14, it was 30 years of WrestleMania, which brought a lot of nostalgic moments back to me. Yeah, me too, absolutely. Yeah. As did 2K13 with the Attitude Era as well. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, my favourite, probably my second favourite time in wrestling history is the Attitude Era, so yeah, I can relate to that as well, yeah. And I love the fact in four, in 2K14 there as well, you had the NWO uh, DLC pack. That was cool. Did you get that? I didn't. But Did you not? I had the NWO Hulk, Hulk yeah. Hogan. Hulk Hogan, I, I yeah. had Razor Ramon and That's right. Diesel, so that was good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> you know, some of us are particular about stuff, but some of us are just happy enough with certain stuff. So that, that's cool. Um... What about the, uh, the whole idea of, um, you know, just uh, want to touch on something briefly there. Uh, Ultimate Warrior last year was inducted into the Hall of Fame, died a couple of days later. That was crazy, wasn't it? It was very, very sad. Mm. It was very sad that his, his daughters, unfortunately, they had to be there to witness it. It was uh, such a shame. Uh, it was, yeah. And the words he said to them in the induction speech and all, and... The um, you know, then on Raw he had this big inspirational talk for everyone on the yeah, you know, in the ring and that, and, and that, it was nearly fitting, wasn't it, that it happened all in the one. It was. It was like it was meant to happen. Yeah. And I, I recently watched a documentary on the network about WWE twenty four. Was it? No, it was. Was it not? That was twenty four. It was. An old one that I came across and I decided to watch it. Right. I think it was Warrior, The Ultimate Legend. All oh, right, yeah. I need to watch that. I haven't watched it yet. But, but I watched that and it appeared that a building up to his Hall of Fame induction and his death, they had got very, very close to fans from Triple H. Right. And it, it appears that they're, they're all, all the beef they had and everything was... Mm. You know, they were, they were friends. Gone, uh, uh, seems, cr- you know, he got so much closure with people and he had a lot of issues with Jake the Snake Roberts and Hulk Hogan and different Hulk, people. Hulk, he, Nash, even. Kevin Nash, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I used, I actually used to watch uh, the Wires podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. And to say he had beef with Hulk Hogan is an understatement. Oh, unbelievable. But, they made up and they put it aside, so it was good to see. Mm. I have to say, I really, I really enjoyed that uh, WWE 24 episode that was on a couple of weeks ago. 
was all about behind the scenes at WrestleMania 30 and it showed him talking to the different ones and that. But that was mad, like, you know, it was... Yeah, I stopped to watch that. Yeah, it works for look, definitely. Um, going back to the games now, uh, have you got 2K15? I don't. No. I should have it. I was, I was <laughs> it's hard to, to get, get the hard to get the money for these things too. Sometimes there's there's not no not really an excuse for me not to have got it, but yeah. I, I I think I will. Yeah. I, I see, want yeah, to get it. Uh, you, know? you see, I recently got the well, around September time last year, I got the Xbox One. Uh, I decided to take out a bit of money and get it, and still paying my mum back for it. <laughs> But anyway, we'll not go into that. But uh, I remember I meant to get the um, WWE game for that, but I actually ended up getting it for the 360. I've got a bit of a problem with the Xbox One. I'm getting it repaired and stuff. But uh, I might get it for the Xbox. I've heard a lot of great stories about it for the Xbox One. Uh, they've taken out a lot of the game modes, which is pretty crap. Um, they've taken out Story Designer and stuff like that, which is one of my favorite modes in the games. Yeah. So yeah, but I, I still play 2K14 a lot more than 2K15. The biggest attraction for me with 2K15 was the three generations of Sting. Yeah. Uh, that but, was pretty good, yeah. But I, as I say, I, I still have, have, have to get the game. Uh, and there's no game mode about Sting though. It's, yeah, people, think, people seem to think there's two generations or three generations of Sting game mode but there's not that's the thing it's just you get no. them as dlc yeah you know? which is it's all right because you can download all their wcw people from like the community creations in these games are unbelievable like you know some of the community creations are top notch better than the real ones in the game yeah and the, the costume designs yeah. and everything it's down Abs- to tea. absolutely yeah uh would you like to talk about any of the shows or pay-per-views you might have watched on the network uh to close things Well, not so much, but what I would like to say is, for anyone that's listening, get WWE Network, $9.99 a month. <laughs> I think we might have had a nine ninety nine promo in there somewhere. Um, yeah, definitely, I would have to second that for sure. It's... And um, if you're a fan at all, or even you're a casual fan, I think you have to. It's worth it, doesn't it? Worth every penny. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people out there be saying, "Ah, oh, sure. Why would you watch that stuff all the time? Like, or why would you? Why don't you know? You have to make time for other things. But you know, at the end of the day, if you want to chill out at night time or something, and throw something on if there's not much on TV or whatever. That's exactly the time I would watch it too. Yeah, I, I would. I wouldn't be watching stuff like this. You're wrestling and that during the day because you have to do other things. But like, I think it's. Especially if you're a media person and you do this kind of stuff, it's good to use it as anyone says anything to you, just say, ah, it's job research. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, great bringing you the uh, Beyond the Ropes broadcast, uh, podcast, folks. Uh, this will be on Mixcloud and on YouTube for people to watch and um, listen to. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much to Kyle Martin. There's Kyle. And, um, we we'll hope to bring you one in the next few weeks again, hopefully. Thank you for having me here, Kieran. Uh, good stuff, Kate. Thank and, you. And remember, nine eighty nine a month. <laughs> All right, by the way, are you watching Raw tonight? Yeah, I will. Good stuff. There's a lot of stuff happening now, so we've got to keep up to date, you know. Right. All right, folks, being the Kyoster, and for Kyle here as well. See you later, everyone. Kyoster, over <laughs> and out. Forty-two minutes.